the woke always end up eating their own. And as we're seeing them kind of cordon themselves off into Blue Sky and these other like uh, platforms where they're in an echo chamber because they literally can't even that other people exist, um, <laughs> we're going to see it get worse, uh, I think. And so it's going to be very funny to watch. Uh, this is a pretty interesting one. Goodreads is a weird platform by itself. It's it's usually filled with woke activists and uh, a bunch of uh, wine ant type of people on there. And uh, and so they've been propping up this science fiction novel, uh, Samantha Harvey's, uh, um, it's called Orbital. And uh, it, it, it's not even really a science fiction novel when you drill down into it. It's just astronauts reflecting on how beautiful Earth is. Like it's, And uh, they, they, they talk about how it's not even narrative-driven. It's like, okay, sounds like a snooze fest. It's exactly the type of thing the literary establishment likes. Uh, but Samantha did one thing that doesn't work in 2024. She included a Russian character portrayed positively. Uh-oh. Uh, that is, that's no good because uh, I stand with Ukraine, my friends. And uh, it started a major meltdown on Goodreads, uh, and they've actually censored people over there because of it getting pretty wild in, in the publishing establishment. Now, I've been banned from the publishing establishment for a long time, my friends. So please smash that like and subscribe button. But uh, there is something else here. The channel is definitely under attack by these people. They don't like that our coverage is going very, very well, uh, that the channel's growing by leaps and bounds. And so they're trying to get us taken down. So make sure to follow on Substack here. Uh, I also have a newsletter, uh, which has my own fiction on here. I've got a fantasy book, a sci-fi book, and a graphic novel comic book for you guys uh, for free for signing up. I just want to make sure I stayed connected with you guys. And of course, this is uh, the spot where I'm mostly doing my own fiction work here. Uh, and Substack is where I'm reporting the news in written form. And then I also have books if you want to support us in the meantime, too. Uh, this is a real science fiction trilogy. It's awesome, The Orishan War. If you like Star Trek Babylon 5, you're really going to enjoy this. It's got a giant adventure here, uh, which I am actually spinning off into a new series in space exploration because uh, I don't like the way Star Trek's gone in the last several years. So I'm just going to do it myself better. Uh, space exploration is fun. It's a staple of science fiction. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy this. I think it's uh, it, it's really stuff that you'll like as a science fiction reader. And uh, thank you guys so much for paying attention and, of course, uh, supporting us so much. Grab the whole trilogy, ebook, print, and audio. It builds up into a nice... Uh, epic swell uh, by the time you get to the stars rejoined which you'll you'll really like the payoff so thank you guys so much again it's in the description below along with the newsletter and along with the sub stack i know it's three different things but guys uh yeah like i said we're a little nervous over here right now uh because of the attacks that we're getting today uh it's been pretty crazy but that's what they do they, they cannot handle anybody else having any other opinion and that's the whole deal as much as they attack me this lady's under attack for the same reasons and it's just because she did something in her fiction that they didn't like and so uh after all the propping up they, they give it an award uh it, it's called the 2024 booker prize i i don't know what that is uh, this lady does not typically write science fiction or anything like that and you can see just the the typical blurb sarah moss she's a ya author beautiful the sunday times stunning an uplifting book an extraordinary achievement observer and apparently it's pretty political you know it's got a bunch of environmental crap in it uh, like usual, and that's that's why they're all golf clapping for it in the literary circles. So this this happened over on Blue Sky. I saw this. Goodreads has suspended ratings, seemingly because it features a Russian character who isn't unequivocally awful. It must be that the book and author is an apologist for the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This is how crazy people have gotten. This is this is the end result of identity politics, guys. As much as you start pitting people against each other for races and for, for all this, this is you know this is everything we were taught. You know, when we grew up, <laughs> that that like judging people by their skin color or their accent uh, is is a bad thing. They they used to be that way. Now, uh, with the woke people, they go they've gone so far that some people's accents or skin colors or last names or whatever are bad person uh, just because of who they are. And it's, it's very odd that the diversity inclusivity crowd actually they're anything but. Uh, it, it, they just want one thing, and they just want uh, a LGBTQ. Uh, black lady who's a lesbian transgender or something. Uh, if you're not that, you're out. And that's that's about how it goes at this point. It's really, really sick. But every single time they accuse everybody of racism and all that, this is exactly what it is. The, these people are ex obscenely racist. They're obscenely sexist. They hate men, right? And so this is what happens. This is when you've gotten these people that agitated and that hateful and that bigoted, uh, this is what's going on. And I think it's hilarious to watch them do this. And they're not going to learn from it at all. These people never learn. They just emotionally hyper 
hyperbolically react and go crazy uh, all the time. And it's just so funny to watch because we've been calling this out for years and they tell us we're terrible people for just saying, hey, this is hypocritical. And it's because it breaks their minds, right? When you say, hey, it's hypocritical that you're uh, hating somebody because they have a, a Russian character that that's literally racist, they, they flip out because they have made racism their like religion, and so uh, they, they can't possibly be it. It's like you broke their little NPC programming when you talk about it, and that's why they go so crazy. They did this to me. They libeled me uh, on uh, a racist bully from the uh, World Science Fiction Convention website and banned me in 2018 because they were scared of my upcoming uh, you know books, and they knew they couldn't compete with what I got going. It's, it's typical. This is what they do. I'm, uh, I'm proudly banned from Worldcon, proudly banned from Kickstarter, proudly banned from Indiegogo, proudly banned from Patreon, and uh, hopefully they don't get us here. I mean, YouTube's been a little better lately, but they are they are mass flagging me at this point just because of my cover. It's just really, really sick of these people. They just can't uh, let people's businesses exist. Uh, but I sued them, and actually, uh, and actually, I won, and uh, they were forced to apologize to me because uh, we're not. Uh, we, you know, we we don't we don't actually. Uh, try to hurt anybody over their uh, identity here, unlike these people. This is exactly what they do. I mean, it's so, so crazy. The character, and therefore the author apparently, cr- the crime was to miss certain things about the Soviet Union, reflect wistfully on his childhood, and rue the fact that no cosmonaut had stood on the moon. Considering the character is a cosmonaut, that seems fair enough. Now, I've seen this before, too. Uh, there was a big controversy several years ago uh, for a YA book, it was called The Black Witch, and I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, all these people tried to destroy it. The same race grifters tried to do the same thing, and the story was literally about a uh, young girl who grew up like in this like white privilege sort of deal. I mean, it, it was like a prototype SJW <laughs> like plot line, and uh, she realized like the the elves and fairies and all the other things uh, who were getting stomped out by the literal Nazi white people humans. Uh, were actually not bad people, and she uh, she she changed her mind after hating them at first, and then and then uh, and then decided to help them. Uh, and so uh, it was it was a redemption arc woke story of like, hey, maybe we can change people's minds and get everybody to love each other. And you know, well intentioned. The lady's a nice lady who wrote it, and uh, but it, but it was definitely intended to be an, a left wing sort of deal. Now, uh, they tried to destroy her because her character was, like, a little racist against, like, elves and stuff like that. And they say, oh, this is obviously her author projection, blah, 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 blah. I'm I'm dead serious. And not only that, but they tried to destroy her saying that racists can never be redeemed. Uh, And so that it's a terrible archetype and that she, uh, she should be canceled for just writing that as a character. This is how crazy these people are. I keep warning about this. It They're nuts, and yet they're in charge of the publishing industry. This is absolutely the case. This why we do independent work this is why we promote other independent works because this place is just a uh, uh, it's just a terrible place at this juncture over on blue sky and all this so i did go to goodreads to test this out to see if i could leave a rating and as you can see what happened here was this book has temporary limitations on submitting ratings and reviews you literally cannot lead leave a review uh this may be because we've detected unusual behavior that doesn't follow our review guidelines now this is interesting i've had people go over on goodreads and on amazon and leave me one star reviews saying i'm a hateful evil person and whatnot and it's left up there they don't suspend reviews on my books uh, for that kind of thing i've gotten that hit multiple times it's really obnoxious and uh, clearly did not read the book and uh it's uh because my books you know appeal to everybody that's kind of the goal uh, but it's, uh, it, 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 you could see there's like rules for thee, not for me. If you're one of their like, uh, protected people like Samantha Harvey, they will protect you. And I mentioned this with Gail Simone's book the other day too. She's got a new Red Sonia novel. Um, and if you look at it, uh, on Amazon, um, you actually have no option for leaving reviews on it. And I've never seen this before, but this is because it's traditional publishing. Oh, there's one now. It's now popped up after three days, of course. Now I can't use it for my video because, but for, for a couple of days, there was like this little spot here was not even on the book. Like you could not leave a review. It wasn't shown there. Like it was very bizarre. I'd never seen anything like it before. And it's because they're protecting authors at this point. And I, I think this was probably for the first couple of days because they didn't want her to get bad reviews uh, on this sort of thing. Uh, that they they tried to protect the author so it looks like it's the case. And it makes these review systems just uh, wholly 
you know, useless because you can't actually find real reviews at this point. And again, like I don't get protected. Like, I mean, they, they knock them on mind uh, just because of who I am. Uh, so it's it's totally a double standard here. Now, I don't think these reviews should be allowed uh, when it's this kind of thing because it's pretty obvious. Like, just delete the reviews. Don't stop other people from leaving reviews. But you see these people writing in Russian to try to just mess with things. Are you kidding? What a shame. One star. These judges are F-wits for picking this over praiseworthy. So this is just because of another. It must be fun to masturbate on Russia from a distance. I suggest the author go there first. Get firsthand experience of Russian culture, especially go to occupied Ukrainian territories. And go to Ukraine, spend a few months of constant missile and drone attacks and sleepless nights. Oh, right. The author probably doesn't know Ukraine exists, judging by the story. Well, take some geography and history lessons in. So this is not about the book, clearly. I mean, you could just delete these. It's not that hard. But they take such extreme actions because, again, the protection of the authors is the most important thing to them, not actually what's going on. Today I woke up because of explosions and ballistic missiles. Russia launched them on my city and my country. It has nothing to do with the book. Why is this even up uh, at this point? Uh, it's ridiculous. Russia attacked Ukraine with cruise missiles and drones. Uh, so, again, really ridiculous. Now, obviously not advocating for the book. Like I said, I, I've, I've gone in and done my research on it. It doesn't look like a, something that's worth reading, to be honest. But this this is crazy, too, and it just shows what's happening with these woke people in the publishing establishment elite. And it shows just the double standards that Goodreads has, that Amazon has, that they'll protect some authors over others. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this, my friends. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to sign up for the Phantom Pulse Substack. It's important, guys. Like I said, we're under attack here. Uh, I'm in danger of losing everybody here. I need you on Phantom Pulse because if uh, this will be where we cover our and it is right now too we do it in the written word in the morning and we do youtube videos after that on top of it please get on my newsletter so i can connect directly with you and you'll get three free books for doing so and please support real science fiction uh by band authors and and uh, people who are too scary for the publishing establishment uh, i've got a full trilogy here you're gonna love it uh it's in the description below ebook video and thank you guys for supporting